right, welcome to our live Friday training call, rank recognition call, awesome team leadership call, Fire Starter Friday. We've got an exciting call for you guys today. We've got some amazing speakers on the panel here ready to share some amazing information with you. So, uh, yeah, I don't have a lot of announcements today. Let's jump right in. Nodder, what do you got? Oh my gosh, what do I got? We're exploding, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for creating the awareness. Thank you for getting all these tour takers last night. I'm telling you, everyone, the world is hearing about us. The world is sick and tired of overpaying for products. So the same people on top of the comp plan from company to company get paid on it. So it's just the fresh breath of our people getting on our products and noticing the, the results, obviously. And this is what I'm noticing, Ben. Everybody, almost everybody that I talked to that initially said, you know what, I'll pay the one time $40 is a half a tank of gas. I don't think I'm going to refer anyone because I've got involved a few friends with a couple of other things that didn't work out. It's amazing. Almost every one of them, when they get on our products, especially the reds and that magnesium for less than nine bucks a month. Next thing you know, within two or three weeks, they become organic, awesome recruiters because they're like, oh my gosh, these products are actually working. And then if they ever run short and they run out and they notice the product is actually, then their body misses it. Your product users, ladies and gentlemen, will be your best recruiters because they believe in it. They're the product of the product. So that's what I'm saying. Product is creating recruitments. Back to you, Ben. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got yeah. so much going on in my head right now. I just- I, I know you do. Know. But uh, I guess first thing, these shirts, the One Mission, One Vision shirts, well, I don't know if you hear me when I turn around, it doesn't talk. Yeah, we these One Mission, One Vision shirts uh, still available for a limited time. We're running low. So if you haven't ordered them yet, yours yet, definitely do that. Um, all right, let's go out. Lisa Goodkin, you with us? What do you got for us? Hey, everyone. Um, yes, I, this is all so exciting. And Nader, I feel like you took so many of the words out of my mouth because I was just going to reiterate the point of the fact that our products sell. So it's really easy to share your tour link and whatnot. Maybe someone just watches it and they're like, yeah, this is some other thing that I'm not going to get involved in. But once you get them on our products and they see the results and they feel the results, it's a game changer. I mean, it's a game over. They're, they're, they're sold and then they're going to tell other friends. Um, I did have an example of somebody that reached out to me and they were like, I've stopped my membership and I haven't been on the products for a couple months. And I realized that all the benefits I was getting, they all went away. So how do I reinstate my membership? Simple little things like that. They real sometimes you're taking something and because it's not a medication or nutritional supplements, they're just helping support your body. Sometimes you really don't notice the benefit until you stop. And then you're like, wow, that was a big change. Yes. And yes. even I have, um, I have someone that reached out to me that just said his liver enzymes have been back to the normal range for the first time in six years since taking our supplements. And he's down 35 pounds. Again, these are not targeted weight loss supplements. It's about treating your body right and fueling it with what it needs. And then it's going to work for you. And like, I can't get that point across enough. And if we can get these products in the hands of everybody, I mean, we are all just going to be reaping the benefits and then sharing the word with our friends, our loved ones, whatnot. And then it's, Done there. So don't forget, our products are the real winner here. Back to you, Ben. Man. Bravo. Yes, totally. Exactly yes. right. I, man, I, yes. I'm just ready to uh, explode with some stuff that I know. <laughs> no, not, 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 not just going like this. Not, I'm not giving anything away. I'm just talking about some research, just some craziness that's going on in the world right now, just how perfectly we're positioned in front of it. Um, I'll share it here in a second. All right, Ryan. Dr. Goodkin, what do you got for us? You're muted. Yep. Hey, team. All right, man. I'm at the warehouse. We are full house down here, Ben. We've got, we're working hard. There's a lot of product in the house right now. There's a lot of product going out. So all is well here. Nothing out of stock. A um, couple of updates. For those who joined last night, we I did talk about something about like weight loss being more of a holistic approach and not just a real quick fix. There's no real magic bullet. And I'm real proud of the fact that we have stayed true to that with the lean body pack. And we're expanding on that as well. Um, you know, it just, there's so much validity now I, as I look at the literature and what's going on and the weight loss segment is declining. Those single weight loss products, they're just not doing anything, you know, and I, I really hope people understand that. But when it comes to our products, Ben, <clears throat> um, there's a lot of new stuff coming. Like we keep talking about right now, though. I want to bring, I want on Monday, we're doing a zoom. Uh, the, we're going to do a zoom on the, on the daily essentials pack. Cause there's been some updates. 
So we've improved our, when I say improved, we've changed. We've slightly altered the men's and the women's vitamin as well as the D3. And I want people to tune in on Monday to hear all about that because um, I think it's pretty awesome. I think it's pretty awesome. It shows that we're always willing to do what we can to improve the, the, the product quality. Um, and I'm very proud of that. So that's Monday. Uh, we got coming up as E3, the new E3 will be before the, before the end of the year for sure. And guys, we're looking at essential oils before Christmas. So pumped about all of that. Ben, I was going to go out and show the international pack because I did get word that it is there. Maybe you can give an update if we know when it's going to turn on. I know it's landed. The Eagle has landed. The, the packs are in Germany, but I'm not sure we know exactly when we're going to get the green light to turn that on. Um, but that's all I've got for you, man. Send it back to you. Awesome. All right. A couple of things on that. Let me write down international packs. So I don't forget to talk about it. But uh, yeah. So one thing that, that scares the crap out of people is when you say you changed your product. Right, yeah. Nodder? <laughs> okay, yeah. So. I just want to want to make some clarification. So first of all, Ryan, did the changes change how the product functions, benefits, works, reacts? Talk about that. No, actually, not whatsoever. So we didn't go from a bad product to a good product. We went from an awesome product to a awesomer, slightly more awesome product. Really, um, it's oh, actually has a lot to do. It's interesting, though. It, Oh, this isn't a this is a training call, so I can talk about it. So when you're yeah. when you're putting a capsule through a machine and you have all the powder, they use glidants. And in our case, we were using magnesium stearate, which is a naturally occurring product. It's just magnesium and stearic acid, totally natural. But some people don't want magnesium stearate. The same with microcrystalline cellulose, and the same with silica. So those three ingredients are primarily included as part of the manufacturing process. They're called glidants or lubricants. Well, guess what? We were able to eliminate all those. They're gone. Sweet. I've got or organic USDA certified organic rice fiber. That's a big deal. I mean, is it going to change the efficacy of the product? No. But is it getting rid of the stuff that's in a product that maybe people do not want? Yes. So that's what that's what I'm pumped about, Ben. Just kind of showing people the attention to detail. Oh, yes. Okay, so it doesn't change the product. But wh why those ingredients that we had in the, the previous runs, why do people not like them? Like them? Well, actually, I when when well, people would email in about it, I would just I would just co politely comment back and say they're not they're they're not harmful at all. You'll get more stearic acid out of a chocolate chocolate like a piece of dark chocolate than you know than you would in any supplement. I mean, so the it was perfectly safe, perfectly healthy. There was nothing wrong with it whatsoever. But I would still consider it a, a, an improvement. Good, I like that. Made it better. Yeah, it it like there wasn't really body. an issue, but now there's like any possibility that someone can complain about anything has been eliminated boom that's exactly okay. right <laughs> awesome that was a perfect answer other companies would never do that thank you for being so transparent oh. thank you for always helping people to get better and healthier at an affordable and, rate thank you and, and by the way ben i don't even know if you know this but it it's a little more expensive i'm we're not passing that on i'm eating that, know that. <laughs> that's thank you thank you Right. People yeah. who are not in the network marketing have no idea how big that is. Thank you. Right. Thank yeah. you. Speaking of prices, here, here's something that's scary awesome. Yes. Cool. A lot of so as low as our prices are right now, as we continue to grow and as we continue to bring on millions and millions of members, all that does is give us big more buying power that's only going to lower prices and just gives us such a an even bigger advantage out there in the marketplace because it's if and i believe competition is going to come i'm actually shocked that more companies haven't adopted a similar model right now and are hanging on to this old school stuff that's just clearly not working and broken and companies are tanking and they still haven't realized that that this works um but the point is you know to be able to come in and, and, and start from where from nothing basically it's, it's going to be very difficult to compete again we operate on on very low margins as lisa put it in I think last week or a couple of weeks ago, we all wear different yeah. hats. We're all very involved in the company. We keep our overhead very, very low um, so that we can keep those prices low on the products and pay out almost all of the, the $10 a month membership fee and commissions and help you guys really just maximize, again, as, as Josh and Britt put it a couple of weeks ago, people can't lose here. And that's right. just awesome. All right. So let's talk about the international pack. Yes, it is in Germany. It is ready to ship. We didn't turn it on this week because our warehouse manager, Lee Winters, is on vacation this week. He took a break. He's been working his butt off. So he took well his, uh, his boys well camping. 
He'll be back this weekend, and we will turn on the international pack next week. It's ready to rock. We just got to determine how we're going to make it available because for people internationally, it's called we're calling it the international wellness pack. You will be able to order it in the U.S. We still have the, the biggest country ordering products is the United States. So if you order it in the United States, it will be shipped from our current warehouse where Ryan is in Jupiter, Florida, to you in the United States. If you're in another country, almost every country, uh, it's going to ship from Germany. But if you order the International Wellness Pack along with some other products, we got to figure out how we're going to do that. If it's all going to ship from the U.S. or if we don't want to ship twice, if that makes sense. So um, because the German warehouse is not a fully functioning, fully stocked warehouse with all 20 plus of our products. All it has is it's got basically two SKUs, our Women's International Pack and our Men's International Pack. So you order one of those, that's going to ship from Germany. It gets you very quickly, efficiently. Uh, shipping prices are, are low and, uh, and it's it's very reliable. So that is coming. Um, all right. Yeah, I hey, got ben, a bunch of stuff. Just I'm what's sorry, happening. bro. I, Go. Can I add something to what he said, please? No. Okay. <laughs> yeah, go. <laughs> I mean, okay, ladies and gentlemen, when Dr. Ryan was talking about how we're out there passing on the savings back to you all, do you know there are Jurassic Age network marketing companies? I'm a youth minister, so I'm just kind of calling call, call them Goliaths out there that are still trying to make that old model work. Like Ben said, number one reason is greed. That's the number one reason. But let me ask you a question: If you want to clean your windows, what do you use? Windex. If your child gets a boo boo on his or her finger, what do you use? A band aid. That's what Live Good is going to be. So I'm not, we're not worried about competition. Bring it because that will only tell us that we're on the right track. The reason other, other people haven't caught up yet is because trying to milk what's left. They're trying to milk what's left. Ladies and gentlemen, timing could not be better. There are network marketing companies that are changed, old school ones that are changing their business model. When Ryan and Lisa came up with our collagen, I know this for a fact. That was another Goliath type, Jurassic Age Network marketing companies that make amazing products for almost the same price because we use better ingredients, I think. And I know because Ryan knows all, every, all the farmers is very picky. But there was a network marketing company that was ready to launch with a not as awesome collagen that we have for $99 if you buy one. And they were going to give you a discount of $170 if you buy two. They completely changed their business model. Because Ben, Ryan, and Lisa, and us, we brought up the collagen. That's our revolution. That is our revolution. We will be a household name, and you're right in front of it. Back to you, Ben. All right, here it comes. I was going to wait till after rank announcements, but that uh, I got to follow that up. So, yes, it, you know, it's it's exciting. Competition is great, and I think you're totally right, Nader. I think you know a lot of companies haven't adopted this model or trying to compete with us because they know it's not going to make them look good. It's probably just going to make us look even better um, yes. because th these products are amazing. They're the best on the planet for the best prices available anywhere. And anyone that tries to compete is just going to draw more attention to that fact. And, and so that's a powerful thing. And you're right. You know, these. I just got off the phone. I wasn't really going to mention this, but I just got off the phone with a, a good friend of mine in, in the network marketing industry, actually owns a, a company. He was telling me and I, you know, we talk and he was telling me about all these big things that he's doing, uh, starting with with a Black Friday deal and then Christmas and then what's coming next year, next year and next year. I'm like, dude, look, I love you. I root for you. I, I want to see you succeed. But first of all, I don't like you seeing people spending way too much on products that you're selling. But on top of that, you are not aligned with anything that's happening in the marketplace right now. People are shifting their buying habits. Debt is at an all-time high. Credit cards are at an all-time high. People are not spending what they used to spend. They're not overspending on things that they can't afford. They're shopping. Walmart, Amazon, Costco, they're looking for the best value, the best prices. And they're not going to continue to buy this stuff for 40, 50, 60, 80, 100 bucks from you when they can get it for half price on Amazon or a third of the price from us for a better product. And people are being becoming aware of that. And, and you're just swimming against the current and trying to milk it. Speaking of milking it for anything as much as you can. But for you to think that it's going to continue to grow, dude, you're out of your mind. And again, I want to see you succeed, but you're going the wrong direction. You're doing the wrong thing. You're not aligned with the trends in the marketplace. And it's just going to continue going down. Look where your volume's gone the last two years. Down, 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 down. And you think it's going to come back up with everything that's happening in the marketplace? It's not. 
Here's another fact for you guys out there. Lisa will love this one. I was just doing some research this morning. Guess what? Lisa talks about health span versus lifespan. Well, here's this. The last three years are the first time in history, three years in a row, that the average lifespan of people in the world has gone down. People mm -hmm. are as unhealthy as they've ever been. The world is as unhealthy as it's ever been. This is the first time in history that lifespans have actually gone down. The length of time that people are going to live has gone down with all this new technology, everything that the world has, and lifespans are going down. Ryan wow. talked about it last night. 75% of people in this country are overweight or obese. 75%. That is insanely scary. <laughs> we talked about it last week. 80% of people are using at least one supplement. This is where people are going. This is where the world is going. Guys, people are waking up. They're recognizing they need to do something to change. They need to fill those <laughs> nutritional gaps. They need to get away from this sick care model, away from this these medications that are just making them sicker and sicker and sicker and not fixing the root problem. And we have the solution. We have things that can reverse that, that can extend your, your health span, your lifespan, your just healthy overall fitness and every your whole well-being. And people are seeing that and just more and more people are, are taking advantage of it. And guys, once you try our products, it, it just makes sense. You feel great. You want to share them. You go out there. And live good people are just happier people, I believe. Yes. Um, and uh, yeah. So, all right. That's my rant for the day. You guys want to add anything to that? I can't follow <laughs> Lisa, that. Lisa, Ryan. All right. What else do I got? We're having uh, fun. That's what we're having. People want to have fun. People want to spread the joy. This is a huge wedding. This is a huge wedding. Ladies and gentlemen, go share the products, share the opportunity, and sell the events. Those are the only three things you do in Live Good. And while you're doing it, you're not forced on some $200 a month auto ship so people above you get paid like the old network marketing did. This is a fresh breath of air. That's why 30% of the people who get involved with Live Good immediately start referring people. And they don't even break even. They make money. First of all, let me rephrase that. Everybody makes money in Live Good because when you purchase a product, when you're saving $30 on a product, you just make 30 bucks. Because every dollar saved is a dollar earned, especially now that people's buying habits are shifting. Everybody knows that. But yeah, the timing is everything. You do three things. You share the product, you share the opportunity, and you sell the events. That's it. You do that 100 times a day, you do that five times a day. Back to you, Ben. Now, where marketing industry is broken, the nutritional supplement industry is broken, the healthcare system, sick care system is broken, the world is broken, and we have the solution. We have the fix. Let's go out there and change the world. All right. Amen. With that... Rank advancements. We had another big week. I mean, it is just everything that we talk about. Just it makes so much sense that more and more people are recognizing it, taking advantage of it, growing their teams, growing their business, buying the products, using the products, getting healthier, and just loving everything that we're doing. And I absolutely love that we are being able to offer this and, and bring it to the world. So with that, new bronzes this week. 3,726 new bronzes. Again, over 500 new bronzes a day. Rank advancing in Live Good. 3,726 this week alone. That is amazing. Again, when most companies out there have less than 5% of people in profit, we've got 500 a day achieving profit, getting to that first rank of bronze showing the world that this is something that people can do, that people who have struggled in the network marketing industry, who have tried five, 10, 20 different companies and haven't been able to even sell a single product or sign up a single person are achieving bronze their first week and continuing to grow and improve and make more money and, and help more people. It's just awesome. So congratulations to our new 3,726 bronzes this week. Huge accomplishment. Absolutely love it. Silvers, 389 new silvers, more than 50 a day. 389 Dude, new silver affiliates. I love this rank. 20 people in your organization making on average between $100 and $500 a month, um, which is awesome. I, I mean, that is an extra 100 bucks a month. You put that towards your products, guys, you're going to change your life. Amen. And financially. And I promise you, the more physically healthy you are, the easier it is to get financially healthy because you're happier, you're more 
functional. Your brain works better. You're more in tune. You, you're in a better mood. You've got more energy. You're able to go out there and do things and make things happen. Yes. And um, so, yeah. Very true. And I encourage, yeah. I mean, if you're making a hundred bucks, 200, 300, put a hundred towards products. Buy the ultimate wellness pack. Get yes. these products in you. I mean, guys, I'm taking pretty much every single one of our products every single day. And I, you can tell I got energy. These things are oh, yeah. amazing. All right. So 389 new silvers. Congratulations. 37 new golds, more than five a day, reaching oh over gosh. 100 people in their organization, 37 new golds. And this is really the sweet spot spot in network marketing, you know, three to $500 a month in income. We've got a lot of golds in the $1,000, $1,500, $2,000 a month range. But, you know, when you get there, that's what sustains and builds a company. The more people you got there, uh, the, the stronger and healthier the company is. And so, uh, 37 a, <laughs> in a week. It's just a, another amazing, amazing week. Congratulations to all of our gold. We also have uh, five new platinum ranked members this week alone. Platinums are making over $1,000 a month on average, some as high as seven, eight, even $10,000 a month. So uh, congratulations to our five new platinums. And we have two new diamonds mm -hmm. this week alone. One is, I'm seeing what country... This person is in Ryan. Ryan, that's right. Dallas from Philippines. This Filipino group is absolutely on fire. Ryan! Another amazing diamond from Philippines. Congratulations, Ryan. And right. we also had another diamond out of Korea. And I can't yeah. read this Korean uh, letters. So congratulations to our new Korean diamond and our Filipino diamond, Ryan Rosales. Great job, guys. Average diamonds are making over $10,000 a month. Some of them are highest at $20,000, $30,000, $40,000 a month as uh, you know their team continues to grow. Awesome, awesome job. I love it. Love the rank advancements. You guys are on fire. Keep it up. Keep growing. Keep rocking. Keep sharing. Keep changing the world. And with that, let's jump into some training. I have one thing I wanted to, to mention uh, real quick. So we've been working very, very hard on creative material, marketing material, uh, resources to help you guys go out there and share these products with people. And so we've got, we just launched our magnesium video. We're putting it on a, on a landing page. That'll be available in the next few days. Um, we've got our factor four video, our aminos video probably will be before that. A lot of big things in place. Our new Ben video without the network marketing stuff to talk about the membership is right around the corner. A lot of big things and a lot of, uh, materials as far as banners and just ads you can post on Facebook, email creatives that you can send out to people. A lot of stuff is in the works. That's really been my main focus lately um, is getting all that stuff for you. We've also created, I talked about this last week, I think, a reviews site. So favor, asking you guys a favor, if you have had a great experience or even a not great experience, we want honest reviews. We have put a review section on every site, just went live yesterday, so there's no reviews yet, but on the learn more page of every product, you can look now if you want, but don't go too long because you got to come back here uh, so you don't miss the training. But uh, learn more page, you can select how many stars you want to give the product. You can put a little blurb on there. It's not real time. We just have, people put weird stuff, like they'll ask support questions, like why didn't I get my order in their review? And we don't want, that posted so it goes through a, a process we're not blocking like the bad reviews i don't want you guys to think that but when there were questions or sometimes people from other companies say oh i tried this product this one's way better go buy this one here's my okay. link so no links in the reviews um but if you do have a great experience or not whatever if you use a product and you have a review please go there put it if you've used 10 products you could review all 10 and just put how many stars you give it what it's done for you, why you love it, why you don't love it, whatever. Um, and that'll help people kind of, people like reviews when they're shopping. And, yeah. and again, we're, we're attracting a lot more retail customers and non-affiliate members to this company because people are starting to hear more and more and more about the benefits of these products. And so we just want to make it even easier for them to be able to make a decision and join with you uh, to help you build your team and make money. So uh, review site is live. A couple other things come in. Uh, shortly that are not really noticeable, but we'll add more 
uh, conversions, I think, to um, the more people you send to the site. We want people to, to realize that these products are life changing and we want them to order them and, and are trying to give you guys everything you can uh, to go out there and, and just make it even easier for you to make money and, and share it with people. So that's all I got. Not a Ryan, Lisa, you guys got anything else before we jump into some awesome training? Nope. All right. Let's rock. Okay. Who did we do last week first? Let's go out to, uh, we didn't have Curry on last week. Let's go out to Ohio. Curry Russell, you're up first. Bring it. Thanks, Ben. Thanks for everything you guys have given us. Um, I have been sitting here wondering what I'm going to talk about because I don't think I've ever prepared to talk on any meeting for any company ever in my entire life. It's always just, it's, it, I grew up with the, in, in a Baptist church and Baptist preachers believe that they just, their messages come from God. And I don't ever want to believe that about me, but sitting here in this, in this room and on my shelf right back here, I have the record of the strangest secret in the world by Earl Nightingale. And this, this is one of the things that I wish all developing entrepreneurs would grasp in their, in their journey is setting forth some type of goal that you have written down that you want to achieve that you think about constantly that's in front of you constantly and this this audio you can go out to youtube listen to the strangest secret in the world um it is an audio that i've promoted to my teams to my people that you should listen to it every monday morning when you get up it's it takes about 45 minutes to an hour to listen to it but the reason why you want to do it over and over and over again is because there's pieces and parts to it that you just need to consume. So it becomes part of your life. And when you get to a certain point when you're carrying your, your reasons, you're carrying what is in front of you. My, mine's falling apart, by the way, mine is literally falling apart, but it's with me all, all the time. Like this, this piece of paper has been in my pocket in this wallet for at least six years. Like, and they, these are my top of my list. Like my number one reason is total life freedom. Like I don't ever want to answer to another human being ever again in my life. Like, I don't want anyone going, Hey, I need you to do. And I'm going to be like, I don't, well, I don't give a crap what you need <laughs> me to do ever in my life. You can go pound sand. I'm going to go do what I want to do. The other, the second one for me is my, legacy income for my family. Cause I don't believe I'm going to last much longer. I don't know if it's 20 years, 30 years, maybe, maybe 40 more years, whatever. I want to leave behind something. Building this network marketing company gives me the opportunity to create a, a level of wealth that will be left behind to my kids. And I can just let them have it. Let them go live the life they want to live because I worked for a period of my life and a lot of people aren't preparing that way with network marketing. They don't even realize what it can do. One of the things that I've talked about multiple times is I love looking at the DSN top earners. I love looking at it because there's one name on it that blows me away, and it's the Jaeger group, Dexter Jaeger. Biggest name in Amway history, lots of controversial stuff. Who cares about that? Four years ago when he passed away, the DSN showed his his wealth or his monthly income at 400 I'm saying this right. Yeah, $450,000 a month that was going to his family when he passed away. It's now 600,000 in 4 years. He's dead. He's dead. His team is still growing, business is still moving, and that's what happens when you build a giant team in network marketing. You create legacy level income, but if you don't have a plan, if you don't have a goal, it ain't, it ain't ever going to happen. If you're not listening to this audio, the strangest secret in the world, and start carrying your number or whatever it is in your pocket or wadding up a little piece of paper and putting it in your sock so it irritates your foot, your foot all day long, and you don't have it taped to your mirror and in, in your bathroom, and you don't have it literally on the dashboard of your car and your monitor at work, and you're not thinking about what it is that you want to achieve in this space right here, it's never going to happen. I'm so, I wish, I wish it was, I wish it wasn't that way. 
I wish it just magically happened for everybody. But it doesn't. It does not happen unless you will it into existence. I I don't want to go into quotes. I don't want to go into all the quotes that we know about what what the mind can conceive and believe you can achieve. But we ain't going to go into all this. But my... But my last one for fun, my last one on my list, zero question travel. I never, if I want to go on a Tuesday afternoon to Vegas, I'm going to pick up the phone, make a phone call, get on a plane Tuesday and go to Vegas. If Ben says, hey, won't you come out and let's go skiing? I'm going to literally get on a plane, whatever day of the week it is, and he and go skiing. If Nodder says, hey, you want to come out and shoot guns? Yeah. I'm going to come out and shoot guns. Guys, look, what happens when you reach diamond? That's what that's what happens when you reach crown diamond. Heck, some of the people in platinum are making money enough to quit to qualify yeah. for zero question travel. A couple hundred bucks for a flight. Awesome. We're out. Bye. Guys, I want you guys to consume the strangest secret in the world. Consume it. Make it part of your existence that you literally are carrying your goals until you hit them. And then once you hit them, make new ones. You have to continuously adjust your goals to hit new, new, new levels, new levels. So Ben, that's all I got, man. I appreciate everything you guys have given us and thank you for all of it. Awesome. Strangest secret in the world. It's one that I have not read. Oh. I'm definitely going to get the audio book. Thank Audio. you for that yeah. recommendation. By uh, the way, before you, before you go on, it's not a read. He he literally recorded it as a record for his sales team in the 50s, and it's just an yep. audio, so it's on YouTube. Just listen to it on audio on YouTube. Oh, awesome. Love yeah. it. Stranger's Secret by Earl Nightingale. Awesome. I love the zero-question travel. Absolutely love it. No. As far as the, the legacy income, I definitely agree that it is possible. I'm just going to give you my two cents about that because I have different thoughts than a lot of people on it. And I'm not saying I'm right, you're wrong or anything like that. I'm just saying that uh, I I see what happens when people, kids, whatever, are are given things that are not earned or deserved. And I've made it very clear (laughs) to my kids, they're not getting anything. Like they have to work for it. They're anything that they get. They're super lucky that they have my wife and I as their parents and they get to experience the things we experience. They get to learn the things we learn and do some fun stuff, take some awesome vacations. They're super lucky. There's nothing I could change about that. I mean, I I like taking them on vacations because I love hanging out with them, but they know (laughs) that they're not getting crap when we're gone. They're going to have to work for it. I tell them they can pick out the charities that our money's going to, but it's not going to you guys. So you want to, you know, be wealthy. You want to have things, you want to do things. You've got to earn it yourself. And even now, my daughter has, she's 17. She has three jobs. She's a hostess at a restaurant. She works at a smoothie place on the weekends and she drives a kid to school for money. Um, oh. <laughs> my son used to work at Live Good. He actually quit because he's making too much money trading stocks and options now. He's been studying it. Like, I mean, he comes home from school, work on his homework for 15 minutes and then study charts for like two hours. It's crazy. Homework. But So yeah, but it's really cool. But they know, <laughs> and I'm not saying that, that you know, creating a legacy income is, is bad, but just my beliefs, I, you know, I, I, and I think, I think when you earn it for yourself, it's, it's got more. And I don't think anyone deserves to have stuff that they didn't work for, quite honestly. Even no. my kids, they don't deserve anything just because no. I don't deserve my kids. So uh, it sounds like Nana agrees with me on that. Yeah, can I add to that, please? Because, you know, you, you and I have that in common. Ladies and gentlemen, what we leave, and I love you, Kerry, you know that. And that's what you do. God bless you. That's good for you. In my household, the way, what I'm leaving my kids is the way they see me treat them, the way I treat my wife, and the freedom network marketing has given us and other businesses given us. What I don't want to do with my kids is, 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 is make them lazy. My kids never got an anticipation trophy, not one. Okay, they, they, if they won, they won. If they lost, they lost. So I love that. A lo- everybody's different. But here's what I'm going to say about the Amway thing. Great company, very thankful for how they you know, bless the industry. But ladies and gentlemen, 
the bottom line is that money is coming from people paying eight times, nine times, 10 times more than what that product was made for. I'm thankful for the legacy that gentleman left behind, but where is that money coming from? That money will die out. It's inevitable. Just like horses are not a mode of transportation anymore, and now cars are, and now some cars driving themselves. Tesla, that's live good, the evolution of the evolution. But yes, you want in live good, your checks will go up. I'm not making income claims because who's going to give up $9.95 a month when saving them $60, $70 a month on products that their body needs? That if they were doing it the old way, they were paying $600 a month. So people on top of the comp plan will get paid on it. So in live good, when you build a big legacy, your check will last. Back to you, Ben. That's how you get the zero question travel. Amen. And I do agree with that. I love that. I love just the zero question anything. You want to buy something? You want to do something? You want to go somewhere? That's what having that option is, is about. And Freedom. That, yes, that freedom. Exactly. And that's what you build for. But yes, be a good role model. Be a good example. And I love when my kids ask me questions and tell me stuff. And it, it's just awesome. So, And that's what these calls are for, guys, to, to just get all this information from these amazing people and trainers and speakers and just information knowledgers and everyone. So get as much as you can, go out there and work for it, make it happen. And I promise you, it's so much more rewarding and fulfilling when you actually do it yourself than when you give it. I mean, this whole world, talk about a broken world, this lottery mentality that so many people have, especially in the network marketing industry, it's ridiculous. Um, it, it, winning the lottery, that's why you know most of those people that win the lottery go broke in five years because yeah. they didn't earn it. They didn't work for it. And it just goes away. So do the right thing. Be awesome. Let's move on. All right. Thanks. Thank you, Curry. Awesome job. Let's go out to Arizona. Trisha Costa, what do you got? Hey, hey. hey. Talking about travel, you guys, we had so much fun on the cruise last weekend. I am all about travel. I have always been all about travel. I'm not a person who needs to have you know, the expensive shoes and handbags. I barely have any clothes. I'm all about the flip-flops, but I'm all about traveling. All my money goes to investments and traveling because I believe that every dollar we spend, we kill its ability to reproduce. Ooh. So it's either experiences, <laughs> right? I'm either, it's either experiences, which is travel and memories that we're creating as a family, or it's going towards investments. So with that said, if you have not registered or pre-registered for Vegas, make sure you get that done because then you're going to get a reminder next week when it, it's time to actually register. But it was so much fun hanging out with this Live Good family. I've had such bad experiences in the past going on network marketing trips that I earned where it was very clicky and I felt like I was back in high school with mean girls. And, you know, that was the experience in the past. I mean, I was in Hawaii with the top 15 people in Niriam, and it was just mean girls. I mean, it was horrible. I was like, when is the trip over? I want to go back home. And this time with Live Good, with, I mean, Tim Miller, it, he is just cracks me. Oh, we had such a great time. The guy is fun. Desiree, I mean, it was, I, I don't want to say names because everybody that was there was just absolutely loving and amazing. And I had people coming up to me and saying, you know what? I don't even have a rank. I just joined and everybody's treating me like I'm a diamond. So that's what Live Good's all about. And, and that's what I love about this company. So what I want to share today is completely different because we always talk about social media and Facebook and, and all of the, the new stuff. But what I realized on this trip is that the way I built Miriam, which was lifestyle marketing, is still there. And I do it. I just never talk about it. I never leave the house to go do live good, but I always do live good while I'm out. And I've been doing that since I joined in February. And on this trip, it was really right in my face because every single person, I'm not even exaggerating, you guys can ask around, everybody that was on this trip, they recruited somebody like somewhere <laughs> in Ensenada, Mexico, you know, uh, I recruited both of my Uber drivers on the way to Long Beach from LAX and on the way back. And I mean, it was fun on the, I mean, we're sitting at night at like one in the morning, having food on the top deck and laughing and, and having fun. 
and there's like this guy from the Philippines and, you know, I think it was Daniela is giving him like a card and all of a sudden he's asking questions. I mean, it was a blast and we're recruiting people everywhere. I'm like, I should go on a cruise every weekend. I don't even <laughs> have to do Facebook anymore. You know, I'll just take the Uber back and forth. And I talk to people on the ship and talk to people in Ensenada. So how do you do lifestyle marketing the right way? Because I think over the past decade, the people that sell courses online uh, that say, oh, are you tired of bothering friends and family and having to harass your waitress? You know, let's do attraction marketing. They want to sell your course. And trust me, depending on where you go, like EMP can go all the way up to $30,000 going to do mm -hmm. nothing for you. I promise you. But they really discouraged people to use lifestyle marketing. It's like, it's a bad thing. It's ugly. It's shameful. And it's really not if you do it the right way. So I'm never harassing people. I'm never trying to convince people. I'm not trying to sell people, but I'm talking to people and I'm listening and I'm trying to provide solutions and I'm trying to help them if I can. Right. So like, I'm not going to talk to everybody about live good because I I'm listening for for clues, if it's a fit or not. So like mm -hmm. one of my Uber drivers, I'm talking to him and he says, my side job here is Uber, but I'm a copywriter. So I'm like, have you ever considered making money online with your cop copywriting on Facebook? And he's like, no, what do you mean by that? So now I'm helping him because he gave me something that a skill that he has that he's not taking advantage of. And I have a solution for him. And when you're solving problems for people, they're always going to want to do business with you. So, you know, instead of going to every single person and vomiting all over them, live good because they're going to be running from you. If you're just having a conversation and you're listening, what, how can I help this person? Like, how can I provide value for this individual? If that's how you approach, then you're not salesy. You're not bothering anybody. You're not vomiting all over them because that's the wrong way to do it. So that's the only thing I have to say is if you're going to use lifestyle marketing, and I highly recommend it, like I was at the mall yesterday exchanging some pants and, you know, I'm talking to the lady behind the counter. And, you know, you just, again, you listen for, for clues, you know, because it was taking forever because the system was running slow. So I'm chatting for 15 minutes. And then I make a an executive decision, whether this is somebody I want to approach or not, uh, you kind of probe a little bit, you have to kind of like um, qualify them, right? You want to qualify people as you're talking to them. Um, so, you know, if somebody tells you, yeah, you know, right now I'm going through a really hard time and I, I'm really not interested in anything, you're not going to be like, oh my gosh, it's because you haven't heard of Ben Glinsky yet. He's been in the industry for 25 years and Dr. Ryan Good, Good, Good can formulate these products. It's going to change your life. No, no, no. Let it like, don't attack people. Don't vomit all over them, but do provide solutions and provide value and listen, just listen for clues. Like this is the right person. And if it is like, for example, with the Uber driver, uh, well, the first one going to, to Long Beach, um, you know, he said, yeah, this is a side gig. He had a brand new, brand new Lexus. And he's like, I need to pay for the Lexus. So that's why I'm <laughs> driving Uber. And so I said, well, it sounds like you're very entrepreneurial and you really be believe in the gig economy. And he's like, yes. I said, well, that's what I do for a living because you are entrepreneurial. Are you open to taking a look at another opportunity? And he said, yes. And I said, can I find you on Facebook? So I don't ask for people's phone numbers or email addresses. I ask if they would be okay connecting on Facebook because it's not very intrusive. You know, everybody's on Facebook. And he said, yes. So I found him on Facebook. And I said, I'm going to send you a link. Just watch a five minute video. Guys, as soon as I say that, I go, have you ever been on a cruise? I want to drop it, right? Like I'm not selling anything. I am not the message. I'm just the messenger. So I'm just asking him if he would be open because he's so entrepreneurial. He likes the gig economy. Would he be open to taking a look at an opportunity? Would he be open to watching a five minute video? He said, yes, let me find you on Facebook. And then I changed the subject. So where it goes wrong, and I've done that back in the 90s, where I would talk people out of it. Somebody would be like, I was in send out cards and it was like, I'm ready to join. And I would continue to talk for another 20 minutes until they said, I think I need to think about it. So you ask if they're open to see the message. You're the messenger. If they say yes, you drop it. Then you're like, have you ever been on a cruise before? Where do you live? How many kids do you have? It just changed the subject. So with that, back to you, Ben. Awesome stuff, Trisha. Thank you so much. I love every dollar we spend 
would you say we kill its opportunity to produce? Is that how we you say kill, it? Yeah, every dollar we spend, we kill its ability to reproduce. The ability to reproduce. I'm not a spender, you guys. I don't spend any money. People come over, they go, where are your clothes and shoes? I'm like, that's all I have. They're like, no, seriously. I'm like, no, that's it. I have this big walk-in closet. It's like completely empty. They think I'm about to move out. <laughs> I saw when you came to my church, I saw, I mean, you can drive anything you want. I know you can. You're very frugal. You save money. That's awesome. I keep my cars 10 years, you guys. I buy a brand new and I keep it 10 years because what am I showing off? You know, it's just all about investing. Love it. And that's yes. our product. Are. So when you're making two, 300 bucks a month, ladies and gentlemen, invest back in yourself. Get your hands on these products because you can have all the money in the world. I just became a grandpa. And thanks to these products, I'm truly enjoying our grandkid. My wife is an athlete. We love it. We love what these products have done for us. So reinvest your money that you're making and live good back into products because that product is going to bless you. So when people see that you've changed, not just mentally, but physically, your skin, your weight, all that, that's an investment. Invest in yourself. Thank you, Trisha, for that. Thank you. Yes. Invest in products. Don't go out and buy a new car. Don't Thank go you. out and buy a brand new house. Don't go buy a fancy watch. Don't, don't spend money on stuff you don't need. Keep your overhead low. That's how we run the company. That's how we run our lives. That's how you win. That's how you get ahead because every dollar you spend, as Trisha just put it, you kill its ability to reproduce. And when you spend it on fun and memories, I think that's what I agree with. Spend your money on that, on fun, on, on things that you do. But unless you have a lot of extra that you can you know, buy a brand new car and it, it genuinely like from within makes you happy and you're not just trying to impress someone or you know, kind of make you fake happy, then save your money and invest it in other things that can make you make it grow and even more. So that's a big lesson right there. I love that part of it. Um, great job. And I, I also love the part about treating everyone like a diamond. Guys, treat people nice. That's how you, and it's funny. I have a lot of friends and every single one of my friends, one thing they have in common is they're very kind and they're very positive. I, I just don't attract or get attracted to complainers or negative people. <laughs> so that's why, you know, most of my friends are actually successful because I think ha happy, motivated people who don't complain about stuff and are happy with what they're doing are successful. I mean, I think happiness is the ultimate success. Amen. Um, so, uh, yeah, I love that. And just guys, be kind to people and, and don't complain. Don't. Yeah. Awesomeness. Love that. Treat people like diamonds. Um, yeah. perfect. Great stuff. Awesome. All right. Moving on. Let's go out to Reno. Dr. Aaron, you're up. Hi, everybody. Hi, Live Good Family. What an amazing call. Oh, my gosh. Trisha, you, like, talk to the humans. That was so great. Okay. Um, I'm going to be sharing the four-letter word of network marketing that will crush dreams that will offend your dreams, that will rob you of your success, that will rob you of your financial freedom, eliminate your confidence. And I'm going to tell you what to do instead so that this doesn't happen. But I had a therapist years ago that said I could swear. So I've been doing it ever since. So the four letter word is wait. Oh. Curry said this this week in network marketing. Do you know any leader that's at the top of network marketing that has succeeded by waiting? Nope. Do you know anyone who has success that has gotten there from waiting? I, I think there's three big buckets of waiting that we do in network marketing that, that really get in our way. And I wanna share how to completely remove them as obstacles. The first is waiting till you feel ready, waiting till you feel confident, Waiting till you understand the comp plan. Waiting, 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 waiting. If you wait in order to feel the thing you need to do, it's never going to happen. You're going to behave your way into different thinking. So you're going to behave your way into confidence. When you talk to humans and they say, wow, that sounds amazing, Uber driver. Guess what happens to your confidence? It goes up. I don't wait till I know anything about everything about the comp plan or the products or every answer to every question. Because remember, it doesn't matter what you know, it matters what you duplicate. 
So can you become a professional tool um, uh, director? You know, can you direct people to the tools? Of course you can. Okay. The other way I see us waiting is on social media. You know, the post and pray. I'm going to post, post, post. Posting is necessary, but not sufficient. I have been posting on network marketing for 10 years, every day of my life. Of course it's necessary. Two people of the 102 people I've sponsored in Live Good have come to me and said, I'm ready, like show, show me like I, I, two, two. I have spoken to the other 100. But here's the thing, how you're not gonna wait. You're not gonna wait for leads. You're gonna understand that every like, love and comment on your posts is a lead. You just, you just created a never ending supply of leads for your business. Because, you know, like Ben said, we're not in the, we're not in the lottery business. We're not in the get lucky business. If you are, if you are teaching people how to post and do nothing after that, you are teaching them how to be lucky, which is not a business move. That is not what you want to be teaching people. So the number one thing to realize is every single comment, like, love, or post is a lead. Posting is necessary, but not sufficient. Do you want to know the number one reason why people will join your live good business? It's not because you post. It's because you talk to them and ask them. Posting is called marketing. That's called a billboard. That's an announcement. Hey, I'm getting married. That is not prospecting and selling. Prospecting and selling is, would you like to come to my wedding? Would you like to take a look at the five minute video? If you do not have control over where your next affiliate is coming, you do not have a business plan. You have, I'm hoping for the best. I'm wishing and a praying. I know if I want five people in my business, I need to talk to 50 people and show them the tour. You, It's just simple math. Yep. Yep. Do not you know, be a blessing to the people that you're leading and teach them how to convert their leads into someone that can save money and get healthy and live good. Okay. And the last piece, we are not going to wait for quarters. If you do the math, are you really sitting around and teaching people to stick around and wait for the matrix? You are waiting on quarters. We are grateful that the quarters stack up. But I am here to tell you, Tim Miller's matrix has 5,000 people in it. Okay? We're not waiting on the quarters, people. We're not waiting for spillover. We are not waiting we are going out and sharing the good news of live good. Amen. You will not receive the blessings if you wait. You don't wait. That's like a Christian saying, I'm just going to wait till someone asks me about Jesus. Like if oh, you know great. the good news, you better go and tell the good news. You That is called talking to the humans. So repeat after me. I am a person of action and I move swiftly. I am a person of action and I move swiftly. I will share the good news that is live good. I will not wait. I will talk to the humans. I hope that blesses you. I can't wait to hear how it does and go and stop the waiting. Oh, awesome. I what did you say last week? Go get the others. Go get the others. Go get the others. Go get the others. Awesome. Love it. Thank you so much, Dr. Aaron. Don't wait, guys. Go out there. Take action. Let's go out to Atlanta, Georgia. Tracy Walker, your turn. Thank you, Ben. And um, to my esteemed panel, I love seeing you guys on, on Fridays. Um, before I, I started um, today and, and share a little bit, uh, I wanted to, I'm going to unblur my background for a second because I had to share this photo. And this is a photo of my son, Josiah. This was him mm -hmm. yesterday at school, right? Now I'm showing you this photo because um, <laughs> when Ben said he does not, he's not leaving his children anything, right? This day, normally I send my son to school with his lunch, right? Or I'll make sure he has lunch, you know, taken to him or whatever. And this day I was very, very busy yesterday. And I said, that's it, brother. You got to eat 
the school lunch, right? So I text this teacher and I said, you got to eat this, the school lunch. So she took the picture and she said, he'll be all right. He just a little, he a little spoiled from the lunch. And I, when he got home, I said, Josiah, why were you looking like you were just a pauper? What is wrong? He's like, I don't like it. It's chilly. I said, you know what? I said, you're not getting lunch from me for the whole rest of the month, the rest of the year. I said, because this was perfectly fine food, right? It's chilly. Like, School lunch, I didn't have chili at school lunch with crackers and like a real drink. You know what I'm saying? And so the point that I'm making is that at nine years old, this kid is on his way to not get Jack either. Okay, So there we go. Um, leadership. I wanted to talk about leadership today. And it was very fitting um, with... Um, kind of what, what Curry was saying in reference to choices, right? What I heard him saying, if I were to pick a word, it was being able to have make choice, have choices um, and not be dictated by what your bank account says, but you tell your bank account what you're going to do, right? Versus the other way around. Um, and so leadership, when I think about leadership and I think about live good and we talk about diamond, we talk about crown diamond. I know we may have some people who maybe you don't see yourself there, just yet, right? And and that's okay. You stick around this group, eventually you'll move through the ranks and it, it'll probably grow on you if you don't give up, right? But there's others of you that you know, you know for a fact you're, you're headed to diamond, right? You know for a fact crown diamond. You know for a fact that once there's so many crown diamonds, whatever the new rank is on top of that, that gets added, you know already you're going for that. You don't even know what it is yet, right? But you know you're going to the top. That requires leadership. OK, and either you're going to develop yourself into a leader um, or you're going to have to find other leaders. But I'm going to be honest, to find and attract other leaders, you have you still have to be the leader. So you're not going to get away from being leader. So I want to give you um, seven things that leaders um, do. This is action, right? Dr. Aaron said, you know, action, taking the action, essentially. Right. Um, and moving swiftly. So leaders learn quickly. Okay, they learn quickly. Now, related to live good, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna have to learn how to present the information, whether it's in a prospecting, right? Like an elevator, like what Trisha talked about. You gotta learn how to get people on the hook. It doesn't mean you gotta present the whole opportunity like a Jesse or a Kelly or a Filipino group. Maybe you're not there yet, but you do have to be able to get people on the hook. Okay, and that takes leadership to be able to open your mouth and do it. Second thing is leaders constantly, it's an ongoing thing, work on their attitude. They constantly are working on their attitude. They're constantly working on their skills and they're constantly working on their mindset. These are things that are an ongoing thing. Curry talked about, you know, the, the, um, the audio with Earl Nightingale. That's working on your mindset, right? More than not, all right? Trisha talked about working on your skills, right? Dr. Aaron talked about working on the skill of acting as if, doing it anyway, right? That takes a, a certain type of leadership to be able to do it for yourself. Don't even worry about signing somebody up. Like you gotta be that person. Third thing is that leaders build relationships, right? Um, and they, in, in terms of network marketing, we're really talking about building community, family, not leading like a boss, right? You're not sitting on the perch and you know, you're telling the team to go. I, I know a lot of people are like, oh, my team's not going. Okay, sometimes my team wouldn't be isn't going either, but I'm gonna tell you who my team will never be able to say is not going, and that's me, right? Even if they're not going, they're never gonna be able to say, well, Tracy's not going either. They'll never say that. They cannot, it, it would be a complete fabrication and lie. So as a leader, you have to constantly be growing, moving, learning, uh, enhancing your skills, so on and so forth, and, and building your, your community. Leaders also consistently share their vision. So that means you have to have one, right? That means you have to have one. Dr. Erin talks a lot about um, her vision, right? I think setting the cap is free. So whatever your vision is, you, you have to have something that you're doing that the other people can fit in. I'm not talking about, oh, you want the house or you want the car. Those are goals. Those are things that you, you should have if you want them. But the vision is something that the people in your live good community can fit in and they can see themselves achieving what they want as a result of contributing to your vision. If your vision is so small that nobody else can fit into it, nobody will buy into it. And if they can't buy into it, they won't act into it either. So just keep that in mind. Um, leaders constantly promote events. 
right? So we know the event, um, some of the team went to, um, went on the cruise, right? Um, we're planning something for Atlanta here next month, right? We're planning, the group is planning an event in um, Vegas, right? So as things come about, um, leaders are constantly talking about events, whether they're offline events, whether they're the Monday call, the Wednesday call here, the Thursday call, the Friday call, the Saturday call. There's like another Thursday call I was invited to speak on yesterday. I mean, I barely have time for my own team calls because there's other calls that <laughs> they're like, there's no shortage of events is my point. And so no. all you need to do is just kind of get in the habit of promoting the ones that you want to promote. Okay. Maybe not all of them, whatever, but you need to get in the habit of doing it because leaders do that. That's what leaders do. Okay. Um, last two leaders constantly stay in phase one. What is phase one? Phase one. And I've talked a lot about this is constantly being in a position where you are seeking people who could benefit from live good. Right. You are con you are you are prospecting, actively prospecting. You are actively talking to people. What does that mean? That means even if you get to platinum or even if you get to diamond to go into management mode is the worst thing you could ever do. It is the absolute worst thing. You cannot be a diamond or a platinum or gold. Right. You and you're making the amount of money that is what you want. It. You want it. Five hundred bucks. You're at 600 bucks, so you're good. You can't go into management mode because now your team can only go as high as the ceiling that you set, which is 600 bucks. So now nobody's going past you, because not because they can't, it's because you set the lid. And psychologically, they're going to follow that, all right? And so don't go into management mode. Danny Johnson used to talk a lot about you cannot hatch your distributors. Stop sitting on them like mother hens and hoping that they hatch. Let them grow and do, but you got to get out the way and keep moving yourself. And the last thing is that leaders have posture based on where they are going um, versus where they are now. That is critical because some of you, you could look at your bank account right now and like, oh, I don't like that. Okay. You could look at where you're living right now like, oh, I don't like that. You could look at, oh, your relationships with people around you. Oh, I don't like that. The, the growth of your team. I don't like that. You know, oh, the status of my health. I don't like that. You could look at all these different things in the present. You can observe them and you can say, oh, I don't like these things. But a leader says, OK, that's where we are. We got that down. Right. Yep. I don't like it. Now, let me cast. Let me cast my net into where I'm going and let me move into that energy. And when you're able to do that, what will happen is small little miracles will start to happen. You won't even, you know, you might not even consider it a miracle, but you have to, you have to take a look at, oh, shoot, somebody inboxed me today and nobody's ever inboxed you before. That's a freaking miracle when you're focused on where you're going. Now, what you do with that person takes leadership. OK, but I want you to keep those seven things in mind and I want you to practice on these actions because these were all actions that I gave you. And I think that if you do that, you can apply that to live good because that's the specific environment we're talking about. But ultimately, you can apply it to you as a person in your life. And as you grow, you will attract bigger organizations, people that have bigger influence, people that have massive amount of people. You never know. You just never know where where you might be able to, you know, um, dip your dip your um, fishing rod in. So take that, educate yourself, move into leadership, and I'm returning back over to you, Ben. Awesome. That was powerful. Love it. Thank you so much, Tracy. And, you know, there's an old network marketing saying, the speed of the team is the speed of the leader. You guys got to lead by example. You expect your team to grow. You expect your team to work and duplicate and build and recruit and talk to people and prospect. You got to be doing it. Lead by example. Show them how to do it. Show them that you're serious and they'll be serious and your team will grow exponentially. But yes, you know, I love the, the talk about the miracles. You put stuff out there in the universe, guys, what you put out comes back to you tenfold. And it's a lot like what Trisha was talking about, about treating everyone like a diamond. Guys, you do that, great things will happen and just watch what happens and, and put it out there in the universe that, hey, yeah, you just got started, but you're on your way to diamond. You're going to yeah. be there and, and you're manifesting big things to happen. So Awesome stuff, as usual, Tracy. Thank you so much. Let's close it out with Josh and Britt Cross in Illinois. All right. Man, I am so fired up on this call. Um, I'm, I'm actually glad we're going last because uh, our, our topic oh just goodness, flows perfectly. Yeah. Number one, I love the culture here of, of living. Look, Brittany and my life motto is live little, give big. And oh, Trisha oh, lives little. And that's Brittany and I. Brittany and I actually cut back and lived in a camper for two and a 
and a half years with our kids so we could live little. People thought we were homeless. And all, what we were actually doing was eliminating debt and stacking cash so that we can live the life that we get to live today. With that being said, I love that. Then the next thing is the speed of the leader determines the pace of the pack. Uh, I'm so glad you said that, Ben, because <laughs> I was about to say it um, after uh, after Tracy, but I got two things I want to talk about, and then Brittany's got something, and I'll keep it short and sweet. Um, nobody will follow an uncommitted and inconsistent leader. Okay, nobody's going to follow an uncommitted and inconsistent leader. Why? Because you don't have trust. If you are not a committed and consistent leader, you don't have you're not going to have trust. And maybe you don't see yourself as a leader. Maybe you say, well, I'm just getting started. Guess what? There's people watching you. There's people following what you're doing. And what I see so often in throughout our nine years in this industry is people will get they'll get fired up. They'll give they'll they'll start working for about two weeks and then all of a sudden they they want to fall off and and the reality is they haven't given it enough time to get some traction. I'm going to share a story. My buddy John, he knows that we've been in this industry. We've been in a couple companies. He I I've known him for quite some time. My buddy John, I shared Live Good with him on May 23rd. On May 23rd, I shared with him and he uh, he didn't look at it. I followed up with him a couple times here and there and. He ended up, I ended up following up with him the day before yesterday, I think it was, or maybe a couple, and he finally looked at it, ended up signing up uh, yesterday and joining. So that's been six months. That's been six months. And I share that with you because what if I gave it two weeks and then I said, well, I'm, 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 I'm <laughs> redirecting my focus to something else. John would have never joined because John would have been like, well, this guy's not committed to anything. Yep. You have to, you have to put yep. yourself out there as being committed to what you're doing and consistent with what you're doing. And here's the deal. I train to the little guy. Okay. I know there's people that have enough influence where they can juggle six different things at once, but I'm training to the little guy. All right. I'm speaking to you because I want you to win, okay? I'm a former foster kid from Southern Illinois turned police officer because I just wanted to make a difference and I didn't want to be a statistic. So my heart will forever be with the little guy. And I'm training, I'm speaking to you, whoever you are right now, the little guy, here's the deal. You're going to have to be so sold out and laser focused on what you're doing and don't let distractions get in your way. There's going to be a whole bunch of things that want to come in here. Oh, you can make more money here. Oh, you can do this thing. You have to be committed and consistent here and maybe one day you'll develop the influence that you see these other people who have influence and they're able to do multiple things and make money in multiple things. That's not you. That's not you right now. You have to stay so committed and consistent with what you're doing so that you develop trust and, and influence and ultimately to have success. And so then the last thing I'm going to talk about is hunt your leader. Okay. Here's the deal. You got to hunt your leader. Maybe your leader isn't your sponsor. Maybe your leader isn't their sponsor. Maybe they are quit. They quit. They're doing something else. Their focus is elsewhere. You have to hunt your leader because here's the deal. Maybe your leader is your sponsor. Your leader doesn't know what you want. I'm not here to look. I focus on I focus on what and this maybe sounds bad, but I focus on what I can do. I'm not sitting here begging people to do live good. I'm building live good. I've recruited 206 people or whatever it is because I'm in phase one. I'm building. And then those who come to me and say, hey, I want help, I'm going to help you. But I'm not out here trying to beg people to build live good. I'm just not going to do it. So I don't know what every single person wants. So if you want this, if you want this in your heart, if you're watching this call, you probably want it, right? You need to hunt your leader for that help. You need to be reaching out to them. I always know who's going to excel whenever my phone's blowing up from that person. I'm always like, oh, it's not long before they're going to they're gonna take off. And I also always know whenever radio silence happens, their business probably ain't going to be taken off. All right. That's what I got. What you got, Mama? Well, I was going to say, hunt not just hunt your leader, but hunt a leader, right? Because Josh and I joined Live Good. The person that shared Live Good with us is not doing live good, right? Is not like, is 
and not somebody that we can reach out to to say, hey, we need help with this. So we had to, we jumped on this call. Thank you for the emails. Love it. Um, and then realized who the leaders were, right? And so we reached out started reaching out to Tim, all that, um, started following Trisha, all those things, because we wanted to find people that we could follow that were going in the same direction as us. So I was going to say that, but what I was going to actually touch on, um, which I love that we all kind of touched on the younger generation. Um, we definitely are not leaving anything to our children, right? We have teach, taught, trained, and mentored them. Um, and they, um, have all the tools to be successful in life, right? We've been that example to them. Um, but, and, and we came to live good. Um, when we said yes to live good and we said we were going to do this, we said, well, we need to sit our children down. We need to let them know that we're doing this. Um, and so we asked them all to take a five minutes and check out the video just so they knew what their mom and dad were doing, right? Not for anything else. And each one of them said yes to live good for different reasons. Um, and that wasn't on us and we didn't pay for them to get started. We don't pay for their monthly membership. They do all of that on their own um, because they wanted to do it. And we have never said to them they need to. They need to make sure they pay their membership. Nothing. That's not on us. That's on them because that's what they want to do. Um, but what I was going to talk about um, was our son, um, our oldest son and his girlfriend, they're 19 and 20, came over here yesterday um, because they needed some help. Um, they are got some nutrition goals. They want to talk to us about the Live Good supplements, which ones they should be taking, all that stuff, because they were going to place an order, um, which they did, right? Um, and then want to talk to you guys about don't leave out the younger generation. Those that are 18 to 22 years old, like Live Good is for them. Perfect. Like most people, like like the younger generation, they're getting more and more into their health. They're getting more and more into working out all of those things. Like if you look at, you know, Instagram, TikTok, all of that, it's always the younger generation that's talking about all the things, the supplements and all that. And we have quality products at a price that 18, 20 year olds, they can afford it. And they're going to choose it, especially if they know the quality is better than the Walmart crap they're buying. So um, please share, like if you're looking for people to share with, don't count them out, share with that younger generation because they're only going to help us um, grow this, right? Because we're only going to live for so long, right? <laughs> Back to you, Ben. You guys are awesome. Wow. You guys are awesome. Good. Yeah, that was, that was good. really good. <laughs> I want to yes, see Rick, so. bring in the heat today, the fire. Dude. I love it. Yes, Whoa. younger generation, man. We got to do some campaigns for the younger generation. That is awesome. And I love that your kids are in Live Good. I love that they, they made the decision. They're paying for it. That is solid. I love Hunt Your Leader, but I love Hunt A Leader even uh -huh. more because, and just like, you know, Tracy was talking about, promote events, promote this call. You will find leadership on this call, but also more than that, be the leader that you want to have, if that makes sense. Be the leader. And all that means is get on this call, direct your people. Hey, I'm on all these calls every Friday or every Wednesday for not, or every Monday. I'm learning about the products from Ryan and Lisa. Get on the calls. That's how you be a leader and go out there and talk to people. Lead by example. It's not hard. You don't have to have 20 years experience in the network marketing industry to be a leader. You don't have to have been in this company for more than a week. You can say, hey, I'm going to be this. I'm going to be the person that I want my people to, to be. And I'm going to go out there. I'm going to tell them what I do. I'm going to talk to people. I'm going to tell them to get on these calls. I'm going to be that leader. And if I need help, you can find the leaders on this call. You can dig up to your upline. It's crazy how many support emails we get. People asking if they can change their enroller because their enroller is not doing anything anymore. And first of all, we say no. Your enroller does not determine your success. And if one of your people ever came to us and asked if they could change their enroller, we're going to tell them, no, we don't change enrollers. <laughs> There's other people in your upline that can help you. But regardless, again, your upline does not determine your success. Get on these calls, learn how to build a team and be that leader for your people. Go out there and make it happen. So awesome, awesome stuff. What else wow. did I write down? Um, wow. That was yeah, good. That was really good. <laughs> that was good. Oh, I mean, all good, but that was good. Oh, yeah. Nobody follows uncommitted, inconsistent. I don't even want to call them leaders. I wrote yeah, down that's like a leader. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love little, little, give big. That is awesome. I love that you guys, man, you guys keep the overhead low. No. Awesome. Okay. Rocking. All right. Love them. Wow. Yes. Okay, Ben, you know, I got to do this. I got to, bro. All right. <laughs> Sorry.
this was good. Ladies and gentlemen, that commitment level is everything. You're going to come across people who showed you $100 CBD oil a few months ago, and you're going to reach out to them, say, listen, thank you for thinking of me for the $100 CBD oil. I couldn't afford it like a lot of your customers couldn't afford it probably. Can you please let me know? Take a look at my shop website. We're selling the same thing, 100% money back guarantee. And let me know maybe some of your customers who couldn't afford your $100 one, you can send them my way. You can do that, ladies and gentlemen, every month because we're launching new products every month. Stay consistent because a lot of your friends that have been in the industry and jump from company to company for whatever reason, the obvious is 2.8 month average auto ship. So their checks drop. A lot of those people want to hear from you to be consistent. Like Josh said, when you reach out to everyone that you know every other week and ask them, hey, listen, my live good business is absolutely exploding. Who do you know that can take advantage of our collagen? Two weeks from now, same person. Hey, my live good business is exploding. Is I'm looking for people in Philippines. By the way, who do you know that's overpaying for their magnesium? You just keep dripping on them because they're used to, unfortunately, some of people in network marketing hopping from company to company. So when you keep reaching out to them and they see you're very excited about live good, they see what the products are doing for you and they see it all over the internet. It's like Ben says, you can't unsee it. They're going to say, you know what? Nara is really serious about this one. You know, Johnny's really serious about this one. That's so, f- fortunes are in the follow-up. Your prospects want to see the level of your seriousness. This is, thank you, Josh, for that. Ladies and gentlemen, we have 20 products. That gives you 20 weeks of follow-up. Reach out to everyone you know. Hey, listen, thank you for taking a look at my CBD oil. Do you know anybody that might want our multivitamin? Take a look at this. That's it. Who do you know? One of these days, they're going to say, you know what? I do. I've been paying $100 for a CBD oil from another company because their model is paying upline commissions. Why am I doing that when I can buy from you guys for a dollar a day? It's going to click. It's fortunes are in the follow-up. People want to see your series. One, two, secondly, real quick. It's the casting the fishing rod. One of the training said, cast your net. Forget a fishing rod. With all due respect, there are 7 billion people in the world that have a heart. Even if they have a pacemaker or a fake heart, this can help them with a lot of other things, especially if they're a guy, if you know what I'm talking about. Go out there, test your net. Every week, reach out to all your contacts, ask them, who do they know that needs our CBD? Who do they know that need this? One of these days, they're going to say, I do. I do. Back to you, Ben. Thank you, trainers. Yes, I love that. And consistency. Just because John said no today doesn't mean, you know, Like Josh said, this prospect, he was talking to him six months ago and finally he joined. And it's okay to reach out to people. Say, hey, you know, I know you weren't interested three months. And don't give up. Just say, oh, I already talked to John. He didn't want to come, so I'm I'm done with him. No, you talked to him two months ago. Reach out to him again. Say, hey, John, I know you weren't looking for anything. I know you weren't interested two months ago. Just checking in, seeing if anything changed. We're still rocking over here. If you have any interest in making some money, getting healthy, trying this product, here you go. And just like Nader said, hey, I know you weren't interested in magnesium, but you might be interested in this, this heart product called Super Reds. It is awesome. Helping a lot of people. Best cardio, cardiovascular health product ever created. Oh, next week, hey, check out these Super Greens. I know you're taking a, a greens product. Have you seen these? They're the best quality out there. And they're only 18 bucks for our members. Other people are paying 60 bucks. Try this stuff. Eventually, they're going to find something. I mean, people want to be healthy. They want a, an opportunity. They want to be part of something. Just because they said no today or last week or six months ago doesn't mean it's always a no. So, and, and don't be afraid to follow up with them. Just say, and, yeah. and let them know you're consistent. The more you're in their ear, when they do hear it from someone else or think about it or whatever, they'll be like, oh, that's the thing that Josh told me about. That's the thing that Tracy told me about. That's the thing that Dr. Aaron told me. I, you know, I'm going to go hit him up and say, you know what? I want to look at this. I heard about it from someone else. I, I want to look at your magnesium. Okay. Guys, they're going to come. So awesome stuff, Thank you guys. You. Powerful, love it. What else? Didn't this video just came out, bro? The, yeah, the video. Okay, let's get this you out when today, I made everyone. the announcement. Today, <laughs> let's get the video out today to all your contacts. Yeah, the video's it's out the the page. Page. No. We're putting it. We're putting it on a landing page like we have for the the reds and the greens. So that'll be up in a couple of days, probably Monday. Um, but yeah, I love the the no question travel curry and all. Yeah, we're going skiing, so get ready for the invite. Um, go get the others. Uh, please go to the site and, and make some reviews. That would be awesome. And uh, what else? Perfect. Oh, and also, I still haven't sent the, the video, but if you have, if you want to make a video testimonial, do it horizontally, just like a minute long, 45 seconds, whatever. 
Tracy did a great script. You can listen to last, I think it was two weeks ago, um, and just talk about, hey, you know, I, I, before this product, I was, wasn't was feeling good. My joints were hurting. My, I wasn't didn't have energy, whatever. Since I've been taking this awesome Live Good product, this is what happened. It's awesome. You need to buy it, whatever. Um, and uh, yeah, those videos are great too. A lot of you guys have sent them. Thank you so much for that. Just trying to create all this material to help you guys go out there and continue to crush it. So we're done. Did you say horizontally or vertically? How do you want the video? When I say horizontal, I meant vertically, yes. And that's what I thought. Okay, so we need to be vertically, ladies and gentlemen, because that it run. We, some people can use it for reels later on. I just want to confirm that. Thanks. Awesome. Thank Ryan, you. Lisa, got anything else? Nope. All right. Yeah. Have a great day, everyone. Have a great weekend. Join Ryan and Lisa on Monday for our next product Zoom. Today is Firestarter Friday, first day of the week. Time to yes. go out there and get to work. Have an awesome day. Great call. Thank you guys so much for sharing your knowledge, your vision, your power, your energy, your enthusiasm, everything you guys bring. You guys rock. Have a great day, everyone.